Another beautiful day on the bayou in Monroe for some Warhawk softball getting set to take on an in-state foe in McNeese State. McNeese 29 and 18 overall, while ULM sitting at 25 and 20 overall. We're coming to you from the ULM softball complex in Monroe, Louisiana. I'm Nick White. Glad to be with you for another ESPN Plus broadcast. As I mentioned, it is a sun-kissed Wednesday evening here in North Louisiana, 76 degrees, low humidity, uh, just a little bit of wind. It's about as good of a day as you can ask for in North Louisiana as we get set to uh, have this uh, in-state battle here between these two foes, ULM and McNeese. We look, take a look at the starting pitcher for ULM. It's Victoria Abrams, 7-5 record on the year with a 3.06 ERA and uh, 82 and a third of an innings pitch this year and a 51 to 39 strikeout to walk ratio as uh, we are just about ready to get underway. If we take a look at the starting lineup for McNeese, you have Seneca, Tally, and Poulard, Moreno, Lopez, and Reyna, and you have Stetso, Duvall, and Cross, James Landrino the head coach of McNeese State down in the third base box as we are ready to go here. Elias Seneca, the right fielder, hitting 303 on the year. First pitch from Abrams is a little bit outside and low for ball one as we get underway at around 6.01 p.m. on this Wednesday evening in Monroe. 5'8 junior out of the Woodlands, Texas. Batting from the left side is Abrams. Gets her sign on the windup and the pitch. Paints the outside corner for a strike. One ball and one strike. Elias Seneca in the left-handed box. We take a look at the defense there for ULM to the left side of your screen. Pitch a little bit low and outside. Two balls and one strike. The uh, player to watch out for in the center field is Lourdes Bacon. She's had a couple of highlight reel catches, including uh, closing out a game a couple of weeks ago with a diving catch against Texas State to secure a series victory. Two balls and a strike. And the pitch from Abrams is slapped foul off the plate, back to the backstop. Two balls, two strikes now to Seneca. Two balls, two strikes. We're just underway here in the top of the first inning in Monroe, Louisiana. A little midweek action. Next to last ESPN Plus broadcast scheduled for Warhawk softballs. This pitch is slapped over towards shortstop, backhanded by Fletcher, but too deep in the hole to even make a throw. It's going to be an infield single for Elias Seneca. That'll bring up the center fielder, Kendall Talley, as we take a look at our Replay there. That's what that speed and that leadoff spot will do for Seneca. No chance for Fletcher as Kendall Talley, 5'7", junior out of San Antonio, Texas, will step into the left-handed batter's box. Runner at first base, nobody out. Top half of the first inning between McNeese State and ULM. And the pitch is going to be in for a strike on the outside part of the plate. No balls and a strike. Tally hitting 347 on the year. McNeese having a nice season right now, 29 and 18. One of the top teams inside the Sun, or excuse me, the Southland Conference. A one pitch, going to be a little bit low and outside. One ball and one strike. Tally, a transfer to McNeese from UL Lafayette. So it made the uh, short trip west on I-10, moving from the Raging Cajuns over to the Cowgirls. 1-1 one, one pitch, going to be grounded right up the middle for another base hit. Back-to-back -back singles for McNeese to start off this ball game. We'll put runners at first and second for Jill Poulard. We'll take a look at that replay right back at our center field camera. Not a lot you can do about that. Good piece of hitting there by Tally and Jill Poulard will step to the plate.
Pitch from Abrams. Will be in at the waist for a strike. No balls and a strike. Two singles to start off the ball game for McNeese State here. No balls and a strike for Poulard. Hometown kid from uh, Moss Bluff, Louisiana, nearby Sam Houston down at McNeese. And a throw down to third base. Going to be offline. Both runners will swipe an extra bag. That'll put a couple of runners in scoring position for McNeese State with a 1-1 count to Poulard. So both players there. Seneca and Tally will get credit for stolen base. That'll be the 15th stolen base for each of those players. 1-1 one, one count to Poulard. Low and outside. Two balls and a strike. James Landrino down in the third base box, giving the signals to his Cowgirl softball team in his seventh season as the head coach, 10th season overall at McNeese State. Two balls and a strike. The count on Poulard. And this pitch is ripped over towards second base, checks the runner, throws over to first in time to get the force. No harm, no foul for the ULM Warhawks right there. One out. That'll bring up Chrislyn Moreno. Next up to first base number 14, Chrislyn Moreno. Moreno will be batting from the right side. First player for the Cowgirls that Abrams has faced batting from the right side. Moreno out of Converse, Texas, batting from their right side. And the pitch from Abrams is a chopper towards Fletcher. They're going to throw home, and they're going to be able to apply the tag and get the runner out at home plate of Seneca. Nice job by Madeline Fletcher, the shortstop for ULM to get the nice throw home to Blunt. They're able to apply the tag easily for the second out of this inning. Runners at the corners for ULM now. So we take a look at that replay. That throw beat her by at least three quarters of the way there, or excuse me, a quarter of the way there. All Blunt had to do was apply that tag, and now a conference inside this circle. Warhawks trying to get out of an early jam after getting, giving up a couple of hits to open up the ball game. So two down. That'll be a fielder's choice for Moreno, and that'll bring up Kaylee Lopez. Lopez, the left fielder. Stepping back into the left-handed batter's box. Warhawks, opportunity with a force at first or second. We'll see if the Cowgirls put on a little run over at first base. Try to bait a run here. They're going to show bunt. They're going to throw in between. Now they're going to come home, and there's going to be out at the plate. Cowgirls trying to swipe a run here, and the Warhawks were ready for it. They get out of a jam, giving up back-to-back -back singles to lead off the ball game. We go to the bottom of the first. No score here in Monroe. The ULM College of Pharmacy is the only state-supported school. It was founded in 1956, and the main campus is housed in Monroe, but we also have satellite campuses. Pharmacy career is a great career to have. There are many different options that you can go to with a farm, doctor of pharmacy degree. Uh, the demand of pharmacy is, is still real high. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of turnover in the pharmacy area. So we're supplying pharmacists to the state of Louisiana and other states. For 25 years, Catherine and I have had the privilege of representing clients that work and live in the place we call home. We are proud to be your local injury attorneys, providing our clients with compassion and experience. So if you've been injured in an accident, you need someone fighting locally for you. We fight to get you paid for your injuries, pain, and suffering. Insurance companies fight hard to protect their bottom line, so you need someone right next door fighting even harder for you. Don't call an out-of-town attorney. Call Creed and Creed today. 387-5800. At Jim Taylor Auto Group, we like to make the impossible possible. No matter your game, we've got the specials for you. With us, it's all about the experience. Like the feeling you get when you cross the goal line to score the winning touchdown or birdie the last hole to win the tournament. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what you're into. Just put your game face on and come experience what we're all about at Jim Taylor Chevrolet.
Welcome back to the ULM Softball Complex in Monroe, Louisiana. Sunkissed Wednesday evening as we'll move into the nighttime hours here in uh, just a little while. No score. Warhawks getting out of a jam. As you take a look inside the circle, first pitch is going to be taken by Lourdes Bacon for a strike. That is Ashley Vallejo getting the start inside the circle for McNeese State. As Lourdes Bacon batting from the left side, takes the pitch high and outside. Back to the backstop, one ball, one strike. Bacon pacing the Warhawks with a 368 batting average, a whopping 50 hits and 136 at bats so far this year. Typical leadoff hitter for Coach Molly Fickner down in the third base box. Vallejo with the windup and the pitch, and it's going to paint the outside corner for a strike. Vallejo ready, and the pitch to Bacon. It's going to be slapped. One hopper over towards shortstop. Cross bobbles it, and it's going to be safe for Bacon over at first base. That was going to be a tough play no matter what there for Bacon, or excuse me, for uh, Kaylee Cross. We take a look at that replay, that little short hop right there and the indecisiveness of Cross. They are going to score that as an error. That will bring up Alexis Chavez. The runner at first base. Showing bunt, taking the pitch on the outside corner for a strike is Alexis Chavez. Warhawks with the leadoff runner on. Nobody out. We're in the bottom of the first inning. Ashley Vallejo inside the circle and the pitch. Swing and a miss by Chavez. Quickly, no balls, two strikes. Nothing and two, the count to Alexis Chavez. Vallejo ready, and the 0-2. Swing and a miss. And snap throw down to first base. Not in time to get Bacon, but a strikeout for the first out. Here in the bottom of the first inning, we'll bring up Kennedy Johnson as we'll take a look at that. Chavez trying to do her job, just slap it to the opposite field and get it through the hole, but... Nice piece of pitching by Vallejo. That'll bring up Kennedy Johnson. Johnson batting from the right side. 5-6, junior out of Houston, Texas. Johnson hitting 364, second leading hitter for the Warhawks this year. This pitch hit right back up the middle, deflects off of Vallejo, and everybody's going to be safe. That'll end up being an infield single. And a hard shot right up the middle to bring up Jacelyn Buck. Vallejo did everything she could to try to knock that softball down, but not a whole lot she could do right there. Now to bring up Jacelyn Buck, and they'll have a conference inside this circle. Had to put Bacon down at second base, Johnson over at first. And Buck coming to the plate, hitting 264 on the year, 24 hits and 91 at bats, two doubles, 16 runs batted in. You see that knee brace on her right knee right there. Obviously, knee injury in the past. And the first pitch will be on the outside. No, be outside, excuse me, for a... Well, I didn't see an official call there. From my vantage point, I thought it was a strike. They put 0-1 on the scoreboard, so we'll check on that and see. This pitch is outside. We'll go with one ball and one strike with one out for Jacelyn Buck with Gabby Davila on deck for ULM. Runners at first and second. A couple of teams with 25-plus wins squaring off in an in-state battle. This pitch is lifted into left field, going back on it. Lopez under it makes the catch. Two down for ULM. That'll bring up Gabby Davila. Just a little bit under it for Buck. Davila, 
Davila hitting 278 on the year. Batting from the left side. Warhawks with runners at first and second, two down in the bottom of the first, no score. Vallejo with the pitch, low and outside for ball number one. Pitch chopped over towards shortstop. They're going to go across the diamond in time to get Davila. And similar to what happened in the top half of the first, Warhawks get a couple of runners on base, but can't push anything across. We're through one in Monroe. No score between McNeese and ULM. Meet Renee, bank manager and mother. But when she gets on her bike, she becomes... We love our new apartment. There's too much pressure in the bathroom. Good luck with the future, eh? Oh, I've traveled all over, telling folks they could save by bundling home and car insurance. PTI, I need the PDF, COB, AKA EOD. What's the ETA? ASAP. Oh, I've traveled all over, telling folks they could save by bundling home and car insurance. But here's the real secret, eye contact. We just had a moment. Geico. any of us will look back in our lives and regret the things we didn't buy? Or the places we didn't go? the second inning we go here in Monroe ULM and McNeese scoreless getting a couple of runners on board but neither team able to do anything with it as McNeese stepping back into the box it'll be Lopez who ended the last inning inside the box as well Abrams with the pitch and it's going to be outside Lopez a nice hitter for McNeese State batting over 300 on the year from the left side Lopez, the number five hitter in the Cowgirl lineup. Victoria Abrams inside the circle for ULM and the windup at the pitch slapped foul towards the net left side. One ball, one strike. The count on Lopez. Lopez prepped at North Vermilion High School. See a lot of in-state talent for both these teams throughout the course of this ball game today. Here's the 1-1 one -one from Abrams, and the pitch misses away. Two balls and a strike. You mentioned, or I mentioned Abrams and uh, in-state talent out of uh, nearby Columbia, Louisiana, just down the road from Monroe, about 35 minutes south. Of Monroe started her career at LSU. Here's the 2 1 pitch. Going to miss away. Three balls and a strike. We count to Lopez. Abrams ready and the 3 1. Swing and a miss. Big cut. Uh, Lopez right there. Full count. Abrams ready and the pitch. Ground ball will get through the left side for a base hit. Back-to-back -back innings where the Cowgirls will have the leadoff runner on. 
we take a look at the replay the hot shot past buck diving attempt but nothing doing there that'll bring up reese reyna for mcneese reyna hitting 254 on the year batting from the right side warhawks in on the corners Normal depth on the middle infields. The first pitch is bunted foul for strike number one. No balls in a strike and the pitch. And it's going to be bunted, foul down the first baseline. Quickly an 0-2 count as Reyna unable to get the sacrifice down on the first two attempts. Let's see if they keep that on here. No balls, two strikes. And the pitch going to be a little bit high. One ball, two strikes now. The count on Reese Reyna. Runner at first base for McNeese State. Nobody out. Top half of the second inning. And the pitch swing and a miss. One down for the Cowgirls as Reyna will go down swinging. Tiffany Stetso will step to the plate for McNeese. 5'9 senior. Batting from the right side for the Cowgirls. Runner at first base. First pitch fouled towards the right side. No balls in a strike to Stetso. If Kaylee Lopez, the runner at first base for McNeese State, one down. We're in the top half of the second inning, no score. A one pitch, grounded towards second base, diving stop by Chavez on the turf, makes the throw over to first to get the force. Lopez will move over to second, but an outstanding play made by Alexis Chavez to not allow the runners to advance any further as we see the great replay right there and the throw off of the turf over to first base for out number two, and that'll bring up Gracie Duvall, senior out of Sulphur, Louisiana, right there near McNeese State as well. Two down, first pitch is going to miss for a ball. One ball, no strikes to the number eight hitter in the Cowgirl lineup. Cowgirls with the runner in scoring position, though, in Lopez down at second. Here's the 1-0. Pitch going to be low and inside. Two balls, no strikes now. Abrams checks her wristband, gets the sign, and the 2-0. Going to be low, three balls, no strikes. Cross on deck for McNeese State. Here's the 3 0 pitch from Abrams. And it's going to be high. And a four pitch walk. Duvall will trot down to first base. That'll bring up the shortstop cross. Out of Forney, Texas. Batting from the left side. And the 
Pitch from Abrams, misses away. Now Blunt will take a timeout to go out and talk to her pitcher, Abrams. Try to get her back on track. And now I see Leo Wodak, pitching coach, will also make the visit out to the circle. Warhawks trying to get out of the inning unscathed. No score, top half of the second inning. Season rapidly coming to a close for softball. Warhawk softball team, they will depart for Atlanta tomorrow. To get ready for a three-game set at Georgia State. Then we'll come back home for four straight to wrap it up. Home next Tuesday, we'll have the game here on ESPN Plus against Louisiana Tech, and then next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, hosting the Conference Power in UL Lafayette. Warhawks coming off a doubleheader sweep yesterday at home against Grambling, winning 9-1 to in game one, and then squeezing one out 4-3 to over the Grambling Tigers. McNeese State will host Incarnate Word this weekend, and then uh, we'll travel short drive down to Thibodeau to take on Nichols to wrap up the season next weekend. Here's the 1-0 pitch back to action and for a strike at the belt. One ball, one strike to the number nine hitter, Cross. And the 1-1. One, one. Line drive off of the glove of Buck. Will get into left field. Page up with it. Throw home is offline. McNeese will take a 1-0 lead over ULM. The number nine hitter, Callie Cross, coming up with the RBI single for the Cowgirls. Scoring Lopez and back to the top of the lineup to Seneca. And it looks like we're going to go on and have a pitching change for ULM. Abrams with a short outing. Warhawks will make the move to Kinsey Cackley. So we're going to go on and take a break here. McNeese strikes first, one nothing, two outs. Top half of the second inning in Monroe. Lucky for me, there's some great golf here in the Carolinas. Whether you golf or not, Geico could help you score some great savings on car insurance. Whoa. Oh, hole in one. Geico, see all the ways you could save. People can get a free Samsung Galaxy S22 when they trade in a Galaxy. Any year, any condition. Oh, I get it. So you can take your old phone that you've had for 12 years and loved every minute of and trade it in for something new that suits your life now? That's right, yeah. Then enjoy immediate success, even though you'll never forget your old phone, ever. It's a Softball complex, one nothing in favor of McNeese State. A pitching change. Victoria Abrams lifted for Kinsey Cackley for ULM. As you take a look at some of her numbers, eight and seven record on the year with a 2.69 ERA for Kinsey Cackley. So a quick pull there by Molly Fickner and the Warhawk coaching staff. 0-1 pitch will miss away to the leadoff hitter, Alea Seneca. Single to lead off the ball game for McNeese State. And thrown out at home. 
Cowgirls with the early one to nothing lead. Two outs, top of the second. Cackley ready with the 1-1. This one will miss away. Two balls and a strike. And the 2-1. Slapped right back up the middle. Knocked down by Cackley, but can't do anything with it. Nice job not to let it get through the hole there and allow a runner to score. That will load the bases for the Cowgirls. You check out the replay. Cackley having to go full extension to be able to knock that softball down. It'll be the second hit of the ball game for Seneca. That'll bring up Kendall Talley. Bases juice for McNeese. Chance to bust this thing open already with five hits. Not even through two innings. First pitch misses away. One ball, no strikes to Tally. And the 1-0 pitch. A little bit high. Two balls and a strike to the number two hitter, Kendall Talley, for McNeese. Bases are loaded for the Cowgirls. And the 2-0. A little blooper over towards Chavez. Able to make the catch, and the Warhawks get out of another jam as... McNeese, they have left four on base through two innings, but they go to the bottom of the second with a one nothing lead over ULM on ESPN+. I want ice cream. Seriously? I'm gonna drive to get my ice cream. No, you're not. Play with this. No, I'm driving. Really? Drinking and driving? How old are you? I'm a big boy. scientists, we're engineers, we dance, but not so well. <laughs> Windows 11 makes things easier. One of the biggest features I use is multiple desktops. I go from being a student to being a gamer. Being a mentor is one of the biggest dreams we have. And Windows 11 helps us do it. He dreamed of being a baseball legend. Baby, now he's been named most valuable twice. Bryce Harper, living the dream on Sunday Night Baseball. There's a shot at some folks making the trip, you would assume, from Lake Charles up to Monroe, but obviously coming out and supporting their softball team as ULM down one to nothing to McNeese State. Six, seven, eight hitters do up. Kreps, Fletcher, and Blunt for ULM as Kreps down in the count, no balls and a strike. Batting from the left side. And the pitch will miss away. One ball, one strike. Count on Corey Kreps. Kreps, a junior out of Anacoco, Louisiana. So pretty close down to the Lake Charles area where McNeese State is located. And the 1-1 pitch. Ground ball slapped towards third base. Poulard up with it quickly over to cross the diamond. And one down for the Warhawks in the bottom of the second. Another look at that hot shot. Down the corner, great play by Poulard. That'll bring up Madeline Fletcher. Fletcher. 
Fletcher from nearby Washita High School right here in Monroe. First pitch is in for a strike on the outer part of the plate. Nothing in one the count to Fletcher with Blunt on deck. And the 0-1, a little bit high. One ball, one strike. Now to the number seven hitter in the Warhawk lineup. Fletcher hitting 231 on the season. 1-1 one, one pitch. He'll miss away. Catcher Duvall trying to frame that one up, not getting the call. Two balls and a strike. This pitch grounded towards shortstop up with it across the diamond is cross two down for ULM. Little two hopper to the shortstop cross. And now to bring up Madison Blunt for ULM, sophomore catcher. Batting from the right side. This pitch is lifted into shallow center field, but on it is Kendall Talley, and the Warhawks go down in order in the bottom of the second inning. Through two in Monroe, it's McNeese State 1, ULM nothing on ESPN+. Plus. I want ice cream. Seriously? I'm going to drive to get my ice cream. No, you're not. Play with this. No, I'm driving. Really? Drinking and driving? How old are you? I'm a big boy. We're scientists, we're engineers, we dance, but not so well. <laughs> Windows 11 makes things easier. One of the biggest features I use is multiple desktops. I go from being a student to being a gamer. Being a mentor is one of the biggest dreams we have. And Windows 11 helps us do it. Kayvon, this opportunity you have, man, it's bigger than you could ever imagine. A lot of people make it, but then they forget where they came from, but not you. You're looking out for people. If you need anything this season, I got you. See you at the draft. Top of the third inning we go in Monroe. McNeese State with a 1-0 lead over ULM. The 3-4-5 and five hitters do up for the Cowgirls. Kenzie Cackley in relief of Victoria Abrams. And the pitch will miss away. One ball, no strikes to Jill Poulard. Poulard grounded out to second. Her first time up. Poulard batting from the left side. Cowgirls already with five hits in this ball game. This one fouled straight back. One ball, one strike to Poulard. Hackley, the 1-1 one, one pitch, off speed, lifted shallow down the line, and Kennedy Page with a diving catch right near the left field line. One down for McNeese on the top of the third. What a great play by Page there. Hustling and making the full extension catch right there near the line. That'll bring up Chrislyn Moreno. Moreno from the right side for McNeese State. Oh, 
First pitch from Cackley a little bit high. One ball, no strikes to Moreno. And the 1-0. Right down the middle at the knees. Strike number one to the cleanup hitter for the Cowgirls. McNeese State 29 and 18 overall on the year. Really solid team out of the Southland Conference. And the 1-1. Outside corner, strike two called. One ball, two strikes now to Moreno. First baseman for the Cowgirls. And the one-two. Off-speed pitch, just got a piece of it. Did Moreno to stay alive at one and two. One out, we're in the top of the third inning. Cowgirls with a one to nothing lead over the Warhawks of ULM. And the one-two. Line drive into center field. Bacon reaching up and making the catch. Two up, two down in the top of the third. It was a rope to center field as we get a look at that replay, but Bacon able to take a few steps back, reach up, makes it look easy. Kaylee Lopez will step to the plate now for McNeese. Lopez singled and scored the only run of the ball game for the Cowgirls. That was in the last inning. Cackley with the pitch high and outside. One ball, no strikes. And the 1-0. Fly ball into left center field, and it's going to get off the wall. Throw into second base, not in time. It's going to be a two-out double for Lopez. Cowgirls with a runner in scoring position with two outs for Reese Reyna. That almost got out of the yard. Hitting off the top of the padded wall. Bacon with a nice relay throw in there, but just a bit offline. Not able to get Lopez. So a two for two evening so far for Lopez. That'll bring up Reyna. Six hits now for the Cowgirls. Swing and a miss, big cut by Reese Reyna. Nothing in one the count. One pitch from Cackley, off speed. We'll get over for a strike. Nothing in two. Cackley ready. And the 0-2 pitch lifted foul out of play. Off the top of the hitting complex. And we'll stay. No balls, two strikes to the number six hitter in the McNeese State lineup, Reese Reyna. O2 pitch from Cackley. This is away. One ball, two strikes. Lopez, the runner down at second base. One nothing. McNeese looking to add to their lead. In the top half of the third inning in Monroe. And the one two. Off speed pitch. Got her swinging. And that'll be it. I want to make sure. I don't know if that hit the turf, and they're going to say that she did secure the softball. It did not hit the turf, so no throw down to first base. 
They're two and a half. It's McNeese State one, ULM nothing. Oh, Bud Light sells for retro tie dyes? Have you tried these yet? Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tata, the loudest flavors ever. Hey, sports fans. Bancorp South knows no matter where you are in life, there's nothing quite like game day. That's why we're committed to making your experience a little bit better. Our financial experts are here to give you the assist so you're always ready to make life's next big play. Bancorp South is right where you are and proud to be part of your team. Ooh, nachos. See you on game day. Bud Light sells for retro tie dyes? Have you tried these yet? Bud Light sells for retro tie dyes, the loudest flavors ever. Beautiful evening for softball in Monroe. Bottom of the third inning, McNeese State leading ULM 1-0. 9-1 and two hitters due up for the Warhawks. First pitch is lined into center field for a base hit. First pitch swinging for Kennedy Page, one of the top hitters for the Warhawks. Now the throw to first will get away. Kennedy Page thought about taking off to second, but holds up. That could have been a little bit of a disaster for McNeese State right there, but... Page able to. Well, she got hit square in the top of the back right there. Not even phasing Kennedy Page over there. It's the leadoff single back to the top of the lineup in Lourdes Bacon. Pitch going to be slapped down the first baseline foul for strike number one. Bacon, the top hitter for the Warhawks at 368 coming in. So swinging away right there, trying to find a way to slap her way on, possibly, but certainly the biggest factor right here is trying to advance that runner into scoring position, I would imagine, for Coach Miley Fichter's squad. Here's the 0-1 pitch. It's going to be a bunt drop down. Nice play. Poulard up with it, though, getting Bacon at first base. That's a great play by Jill Poulard down at third base for the first out of the inning. Sacrifice successful as we take a look. It's a lot of speed on the base paths there in Lourdes Bacon. That's a great, great play by Poulard. Alexis Chavez will step to the dish now for ULM. Chavez struck out swinging her first time up. First pitch will paint the outside corner for a strike. Kennedy Page, the runner down at second base for ULM. And the 0-1. Fouled straight back, nothing in two. Ashley Vallejo inside the circle for McNeese State. Vallejo ready with the 0-2. Misses away. One ball, two strikes to Alexis Chavez with Kennedy Johnson on deck. Two pitch, just got a piece of it, did Chavez. Staying alive, one ball, two strikes.
Page, the runner at second base for ULM. McNeese State leading one to nothing. We're in the bottom of the third inning. And the one two. Foul tip back to the mid. The ball could not hold on to it. So Chavez will get another crack at it with a one two count. And the one two. Well, ground ball to shortstop, fielded by Cross across the diamond in time for the out. Page will advance to third base. That'll bring up Kennedy Johnson with two outs now for ULM. Johnson singled her first time up. Pitch fouled straight back. No balls and a strike to Kennedy Johnson. Warhawks trying to push a run across to tie this thing up in the home half of the third inning. And the 0-1. And it's going to be a line drive caught by Reese Reina, the second baseman. And the threat will go away as McNeese through three, leading one to nothing over ULM on ESPN+. I want ice cream. Seriously? I'm gonna drive to get my ice cream. No, you're not. Play with this. No, I'm driving. Really? Drinking and driving? How old are you? I'm a big boy. The BK $5 Your Way Meal is here to make your choice easy and so tasty. Go straight to the Double Whopper Junior with piping hot small fries, four-piece crispy nuggets, and a refreshing small drink. Can you believe you get all this for only five bucks? The $5 Your Way Meal, only at Burger King. Top of the fourth inning we go in Monroe, the bottom third of the lineup for McNeese Stage. They lead one to nothing over ULM, Stetso, Duvall, and Cross. Stetso batting from the right side. First pitch lifted straight back. No balls in a strike. Pitch lifted out of play, nothing in two. The ball's two strikes, Cackley. The pitch, a little bit high and tight. One and two. Count to Stetso. And the 
one, two. Off speed pitch high and outside. Two balls, two strikes. Count to Stetso. Kinsey Cackley inside the circle. Check swing, foul to the net. Count stays two and two. And the two two. All speed pitch lifted down the line. Page going back, and this one is gone. A solo home run for Stetso. McNeese State adding to their lead now, two to nothing over ULM. For Stetso, that is her second home run of the season. Take a look at that replay. Got all of it over the left field wall. Now to bring up Gracie Duvall now for McNeese State. Duvall walked her first time up. Two nothing in favor of the Cowgirls. Gracie Duvall. will step into the right-handed batter's box for McNeese State. First pitch going to be a little bit high. One ball, no strikes to Duvall. And the one oak. Pop up, shallow right field. Kreps coming in on the run, making the catch for the first out of the top of the fourth. It's a tough play for Kreps. Had to go a long way. I want to make it on the run. That'll bring up Callie Cross. RBI single her first time up. Batting from the left side for McNeese State. First pitch, hits the outside corner for a strike. A one count on the number nine hitter cross. Two nothing, Cowgirls. We're in the top half of the fourth. A one pitch, got her. Runner on first base with one out now for McNeese State as changeup just got away from Cackley. That'll bring back the top of the lineup in Seneca. Alea Seneca. Seneca, two for two today for the Cowgirls. First pitch. Paints the corner for a strike, nothing in one. And the 0-1. This is away. One ball, one strike. To the leadoff hitter, Alea Seneca. Seneca now over 300 on the year with her two for two performance today. One.
one one pitch from Cackley. Line right back up the middle for a base hit. Cowgirls with runners at first and second. One away for Kendall Talley. And a three for three evening now for Seneca. Kendall Talley, one for two today. First pitch, paints the corner. Outer part of the plate for a strike, nothing in one. Ball speed pitch, misses low and away. One ball, one strike. One pitch lifted down the right field line. Kreps going back. Will make the catch. Runner at second will tag. And will move over to third base. And now on the throw, the runner at first, Seneca, will take second. So a couple of runners in scoring position for McNeese State for Jill Poulard. So now a couple of runners in scoring position. Pitch to Poulard, misses away. One ball, no strikes. 2 nothing, McNeese State as we push past one hour of game time in Monroe. Shadows starting to come across the field here at the Warhawk Softball Complex. Cackley with the pitch, will miss away. The pitch misses outside. Three balls, no strikes. Runners at second and third with Poulard at the plate. And a 3-0 pitch. A miss outside for ball four, and that'll load the bases for McNeese State. So Moreno, 0 for 2 today with a fielder's choice and a fly out to center. Big opportunity for McNeese State. First pitch will miss high. One ball, no strikes. To Chrislin Moreno. Pitch right down the middle for a strike. Cowgirls have already left five runners on base through three innings and three on base right here. They got a chance to bust this game wide open right here. Already eight hits in this contest. 1-1 one, one pitch, a little bit high on the changeup. Two balls and a strike. One pitch. 
Popped up, foul territory, and it will get out of play. Two and two now to Moreno. Two balls, two strikes. Cackley ready, and the pitch off speed. Grounded towards third, and stepping on the bag is Jacelyn Buck for the force. And the Warhawks will get out of a little bit of a jam. They do give up a run on the solo shot by Tiffany Stetso. We are halfway home at the Warhawks Softball Complex. 2-0 McNeese State on ESPN+. Oh, I've travelled all over, telling folks they could save by bundling home and car insurance. But here's the real secret. Eye contact. We just had a moment. Geico. I want ice cream. Seriously? I'm gonna drive to get my ice cream. No, you're not. Play with this. No, I'm driving. Really? Drinking and driving? How old are you? I'm a big boy. Bottom of the fourth inning, we go in Monroe. 2 0 McNeese State leading over ULM. Four, five, and six hitters do up for the Warhawks. Jacelyn Buck, who just made the play down at third base. First pitch chopped foul down the third baseline for strike number one. After that, it'll be Gabby Davila and Corey Kreps. And the 0-1. It is low. One ball, one strike. Jacelyn Buck flew out to left her first time up. Pitch fouled straight back. One two pitch. Foul down the Third baseline. Two nothing McNeese State leading over ULM in the bottom of the fourth inning. And the one two. Right down the middle, strike three called. Buck goes down looking for out number one. Gonna bring up Gabby Davila. Take a look as Buck completely fooled right there by Vallejo. Gabby Davila batting from the left side. Pitch misses inside for ball number one. Yeah, 
1-0 pitch. This is low, two balls, no strikes. Ashley Vallejo inside the circle for McNeese State. 11-7 record on the year, 2-0 pitch. We'll paint the corner for a strike, two balls and a strike. One pitch. This is away. Three and one now. And the pitch. Grounded right back to the pitcher. Vallejo up with it. Over to Moreno. Two down. That'll bring up the right fielder, Corey Kreps. Kreps, running it out to third, her uh, first time up. Kreps coming into the ball game, batting 238 on the year. First pitch, low and outside for ball number one. 2-0 McNeese State, bottom of the fourth inning in Monroe. Row pitch, line foul into the net. And the 1-1. One, one. Line right back at Vallejo, and she makes the catch. Drops the softball inside the circle with a big smile on her face. She makes the nifty play, back-to-back -back great plays by Vallejo. We're through four, McNeese State leading two to nothing. Meet Renee, bank manager and mother. But when she gets on her bike, she becomes Rebel Renee. Rebel Renee isn't about greasing some palms to get things done. And she rides with Geico because she'd never rebel against great service. Geico, savings and service for both your sides. I want ice cream. Seriously? I'm gonna drive to get my ice cream. No, you're not. Play with this. No, I'm driving. Really? Drinking and driving? How old are you? I'm a big boy. <laughs> Pack your first shave with the Philips One Blade First Shave. Designed to protect your skin against nicks, cuts, and burns. Hack your first shave. Take a look at the replay to end the bottom of the fourth inning. It's Ashley Vallejo making the great catch right there. Smiling as she trots off the field. McNeese State looking to add their 2 to nothing lead in the top of the fifth inning. Kenzie Cackley with the windup and the pitch will miss away. One ball, no strikes. Kaylee Lopez, Reese Reyna, and Tiffany Stetso do up for McNeese State, the five, six, and seven hitters. Cackley, second Warhawk pitcher of the day, blows that pitch by Lopez. One ball, one strike.
Kaylee Lopez out of North Vermilion High School. Ready with the 1-1. The pitch from Cackley will miss away. Two balls and a strike. Cowgirls leading two to nothing, but could have way more. They have left eight runners on base through four innings. They have had a runner on in each of the four innings so far. Two one pitch from Cackley. Will miss outside. Three balls and a strike. One pitch from Cackley, fouled back. Count goes full now. This will be our next to last ESPN Plus broadcasts of the season for Warhawk softball. Our final broadcast scheduled for Tuesday night. ULM hosting Louisiana Tech. Ball game that was rescheduled from earlier this year. Fouled straight back once again. Count remains full to Kaylee Lopez. That broadcast will be next Tuesday at 6 o'clock here on ESPN+. Plus. We take a look at the Warhawks' schedule, make the trip over to Atlanta this weekend to take on Georgia State. As we mentioned, hosting Louisiana Tech, then wrapping up the regular season next weekend against the UL Lafayette Ragin' Cajuns before heading to the Sunbelt Conference Tournament. Pitch lifted foul down the left field line, and... Lopez battling with a full count. Lopez two for two today. Singled and scored in the second, had a double her last time up in the third. Full count pitch will come inside and hit her in the shoulder. And the Cowgirls, all five innings with a runner on base. Take a look at that replay. Changeup comes inside once again. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have a courtesy runner here. Tony Perrin will come in and run for Lopez. So Tony Perrin will be the courtesy runner over at first base. Leadoff runner on once again for McNeese State. For Reese Reyna, who was struck out swinging twice today. Cackley ready, and the pitch bunted foul straight back into the net. No balls and a strike to Reyna. Nothing in one, the count to Reyna. Cackley with the windup and the pitch right down the middle. Called strike two. And the 0-2 from Cackley popped up. First base side. And the catch is going to be made. They're going to step on the bag. It's going to be a double play. Perrin did not realize it was a pop-up over to the first base side. Took off for second base. Coming in and making the catch was Chavez. We take a look at the replay right here. And Chavez. Boy, I'm going to tell you right now. 
Yeah, I see that at the end as Chavez got her foot stepped on, but that was a great play there by Alexis Chavez and a great play calling off Kennedy Johnson to make sure they got the double play right there. That'll bring up Tiffany Stetso, who had a solo home run her last time up her second of the year. Two down for the Cowgirls. The pitch will get in at the waist for a strike. Said so, one for two today. Two nothing McNeese State. Top half of the fifth inning in Monroe. Cackley ready, pitch popped straight back and will land on top of our press box here at the Warhawks softball complex. No balls, two strikes to Tiffany Stetso. Cackley ready, the pitch lifted out of play right side. Count remains, no balls, two strikes. No balls, two strikes to the number seven hitter in the Cowgirl lineup. Fouled straight back and out of play once again. No balls, two strikes to Tiffany Stetso, the designated player for McNeese State. Pitch from Cackley will miss outside. One ball, two strikes to Stetso. One, two pitch, Stetso holding off. Moving the count to two balls, two strikes. Pitch lifted, foul territory, third base side. Buck will make the catch in foul territory. Warhawks, after hitting the first batter, Kaylee Lopez able to come out of unscathed. They'll go to the bottom of the fifth, down two to nothing to McNeese State. I'm looking for a Meet Renee, bank manager and mother. But when she gets on her bike, she becomes Rebel Renee. Rebel Renee isn't about greasing some palms to get things done. And she rides with Geico because she'd never rebel against great service. Geico, savings and service for both your sides. stethoscope because we might have the tools but you have the tails and that's half the answers to healing here we will take action to give you our full attention we will personalize for the purpose of wellness we will hear you to heal you it will be our honor we listen we heal this is the university of louisiana monroe we started on the bayou and took over the world. We created champions. Champions. And more champions. The best came to play. We promised the home away from home. And boy, did we deliver. Intellect and achievement collide. Environments that are authentic. Advanced. And bold. Education makes all the difference. And success is shared as one. Yesterday. Today. Tomorrow. <laughs> We move to the bottom of the fifth inning in Monroe. McNeese State leading ULM by a score of two to nothing. 
Seven, eight, and nine hitters due up for the Warhawks, Fletcher, Blunt, and Page. Warhawks have managed just two hits so far in this ball game. Fletcher 0 for 1 today, batting from the right side. Ashley Vallejo has done a nice job inside the circle for the Cowgirls. First pitch high and outside for ball number one. Vallejo out of New Waverly, Texas. It's her sign and the 1-0. Swing and a miss. Big cut from Fletcher right there. One and one. One ball, one strike. Bottom of the fifth inning. Cowgirls leading the Warhawks two to nothing. Swing and a miss. Another big cut from Fletcher. One and two. Vallejo ready, and the pitch. Foul tip into the mitt, strike three, one away. That will bring up Madison Blunt, the catcher for ULM. That's just the third strikeout of the ball game for Vallejo. She's got some great defensive help in this ball game as well, including from herself. First pitch to Blunt will miss away. 1 and 0. Oh. One oh pitch from Vallejo. Line shot caught by the first baseman, Reno. Two down for McNeese State. And there's that great defense. Helping the pitcher Vallejo out. And to bring up Kennedy Page, leading home run hitter for the Warhawks, step into the dish. First pitch to Page, swung on and miss for strike number one. One pitch, fouled back to the backstop. Quickly an 0-2 count on Page. Page with five home runs on the year for ULM. No balls, two strikes. Ashley Vallejo ready, and the pitch. Just a bit. Nope, they're going to say strike three called on the inside corner. And so one, two, three, quick inning for Ashley Vallejo and the McNeese State Cowgirls. We are through five at the Warhawk Softball Complex. Two nothing McNeese State on ESPN+. Plus. Lucky for me, there's some great golf here in the Carolinas. Whether you golf or not, Geico could help you score some great savings on car insurance. Whoa! Oh, hole in one. Geico, see all the ways you could save. I want ice cream. Seriously? I'm going to drive to get my ice cream. No, you're not. Play with this. No, I'm driving. Really? Drinking and driving? How old are you? 
I'm a big boy. <sighs> the BK Five Dollar Your Way Meal is here to make your choice easy and so tasty. Go straight to the Double Whopper Junior with piping hot small fries, four piece crispy nuggets, and a refreshing small drink. Can you believe you get all this for only five bucks? The Five Dollar Your Way Meal only at Burger King. Top of the sixth inning we go. McNeese State looking to add their 2 to nothing lead over ULM, Duvall, Cross, and Seneca. The 8, 9, and 1 hitters do up. And it looks like we have a pinch hitter for McNeese State. So we'll get that uh, taken care of here in just a moment. Aaron Ardwan will step to the dish for Gracie Duvall. First pitch will paint the outside corner for a strike. Freshman out of Moss Bluff, Louisiana. Nothing in one the count. Pitch will paint the corner, strike two. Nothing in two to count to Ardwin. Pitch slapped over the third baseman's head of Buck, and we'll get down the line to pinch hit single. All six innings, the Cowgirls have had a runner on base. Take a look at this slap base hit down the third base line. All right, looks like they called her out. Maybe she was outside of the box. We'll see if we can get another look at the replay. And yep, they, you see the call from Jana Tidwell immediately saying out. So no runner at first base. Instead, it'll be one away in the top of the six for Callie Cross. This pitch lifted towards the shortstop Fletcher, who makes the catch two down. Back to the top of the lineup in Elias Seneca. Look at the replay by Fletcher right there. So scratch what I said a moment ago about all six innings with the Cowgirls getting a runner on base. Kenzie Cackley in relief of Victoria Abrams inside the circle. Seneca, three for three today, takes the first pitch for a strike. The ball's in a strike to Alea Seneca. This pitch line, and we'll get down. It's a four for four day as Page makes a diving attempt, and Seneca will take second base on a double. That'll bring up Kendall Talley, a four for four evening for Alea Seneca. Now Kendall Talley, one for three today. Batting from the left side, 2-0 McNeese State. Two down, top of the sixth. Nine hits now for the Cowgirls. First pitch will miss away for ball number one. Pitch from Cackley. Outside corner called strike one. And 
And the 1-1. One, one. This is away. Two balls and a strike to Kendall Talley, center fielder for the Cowgirls. One pitch, ground ball towards second, and it's going to be booted by Chavez. As Seneca is going to round third, she will score. McNeese State adds to the lead now, three to nothing. Seneca never hesitated. Going around third base, didn't even get the sign from her coach. James Landrino just... Made her own decision to roll on, and she was easily going to be safe. So that'll be an error on Chavez, and that'll bring up Jill Poulard. First pitch swung on and missed. Throw down to second. Not in time. Gets away from Fletcher. So the Cowgirls with another runner in scoring position, looking to add to their 3 to nothing lead. On the count, pitch will miss away. One ball, one strike to Poulard. And the 1-1. One, one. This is away. Nice shot by Blunt. Behind home plate, able to keep that from going to the backstop. Two balls and a strike on the number three hitter, Jill Poulard. All speed, a little bit high. Three balls and a strike now. Pitch fouled straight back. Count moves full to Poulard. Speed pitch right back to Cackley. She'll underhand it to first, and the Warhawks get out of the inning, giving up just one run as McNeese adds their lead three to nothing. We go to the bottom of the sixth in Monroe. Lucky for me, there's some great golf here in the Carolinas. Whether you golf or not, Geico could help you score some great savings on car insurance. Whoa! Uh oh, hole in one. Geico, see all the ways you could save. I want ice cream. Seriously? I'm gonna drive to get my ice cream. No, you're not. Play with this. No, I'm driving. Really? Drinking and driving? How old are you? I'm a big boy. Ah. 
Ah. We're scientists. We're engineers. We dance, but not so well. <laughs> Windows 11 makes things easier. One of the biggest features I use is multiple desktops. I go from being a student to being a gamer. Being a mentor is one of the biggest dreams we have. And Windows 11 helps us do it. Bottom of the sixth inning we go. Warhawk Softball Complex in Monroe, three nothing. McNeese State leading over ULM. Top of the lineup for the Warhawks as they got a chance to make a move right here. First pitch. The Lourdes Bacon is fouled straight back to the top of the net. No balls and a strike to Bacon. Came into the ball game hitting 368. Ashley Vallejo inside the circle for the Cowgirls, an attempt to bunt. And they're going to appeal down to third base and say she did not go. Bacon able to pull back. One ball, one strike. Popped up in the infield over towards the shortstop cross under it. One down for ULM in the bottom of the sixth. Take a look at the replay right here. Vallejo has pitched a gem for McNeese, giving up just two hits. Only struck out four so far as well. Alexis Chavez to the dish. First pitch is down low for a ball. Chavez 0 for 2 today. And the 1-0. Ground ball right back to Vallejo. Fires over to first, two down. That's now 11 straight retired by Ashley Vallejo. And to bring up Kennedy Johnson. Three nothing McNeese State, two down in the bottom of the sixth inning. Johnson one for two today. First pitch will miss outside. One ball, no strikes to the first baseman, Kennedy Johnson. Vallejo ready, and the 1-0 pitch popped up. Foul territory, first base side. It'll get down for strike number one. Johnson back into the right-handed batter's box. And the 1-1, way outside. Two balls and a strike. Cowgirls with nine hits so far today. Warhawks with just two. Two balls and a strike. Vallejo, the windup and the pitch. Popped up, foul territory, first base side. Once again, it will get down for strike number two. Johnson back into the right-handed batter's box for ULM. Vallejo ready and the pitch. Ground ball. It's going to be knocked down by Pular, but unable to make the play. 
As the Warhawks, for their first time in 12 batters, get a runner on base. Kennedy Johnson with a two-out single, her second of the ball game. And to bring up Jacelyn Buck, who was 0 for 2 today, struck out her last time up. First pitch will paint the corner for a strike to Buck. Buck came into the ball game batting 264 on the year. That average has gone down just a little bit. Down to 258. Oh, one pitch, misses low and outside. No, I did not do the math right there on the spot. Thanks to our great live stats, I was able to get that updated for you. One ball, one strike to Buck. It's Gabby Davila on deck for the ULM Warhawks, 25 and 20 overall on the year. 1-1 one, one pitch, swung on and missed by Buck. 1 and 2. Kennedy Johnson, the runner at first base for ULM. Cowgirls leading 3 to nothing over the Warhawks. Vallejo with the one-two. Popped up towards the shortstop cross who makes the catch and the Warhawks are done in the bottom of the sixth inning. They get a two-out single by Kennedy Johnson. Can't do anything with it. Cowgirls looking to add to their three-to-nothing lead in the top of the seventh on ESPN+. People can get a free Samsung Galaxy S22 when they trade in a Galaxy. Any year, any condition. Oh, I get it. So you can take your old phone that you've had for 12 years and loved every minute of and trade it in for something new that suits your life now? That's right, yeah. Then enjoy immediate success, even though you'll never forget your old phone, ever. It's a great trade. Life-changing. Get a free Samsung Galaxy S22 with any Galaxy trade-in. Any year, any condition. Only the AT&T. We're scientists, we're engineers, we dance, but not so well. <laughs> Windows 11 makes things easier. One of the biggest features I use is multiple desktops. I go from being a student to being a gamer. Being a mentor is one of the biggest dreams we have. And Windows 11 helps us do it. Hey, it's lights out and away we go! The sun is set in Monroe, top of the seventh inning we go, McNeese State. Looking at their three to nothing lead. Four, five, and six hitters do up for the Cowgirls as Kenzie Cackley first pitch popped up first base side. Chavez will come over from second base. One pitch, one out here in the seventh. That will bring up Tony Perrin. Perrin. Hit by a pitch in her pinch hitting appearance back in the fifth inning. Her second time to the plate. One down, top of the seventh inning. Kenzie Cackley with the windup and the pitch. Swung on and missed. No balls and a strike. Nothing in one, the count. A little bit high, one and one. K 
Hackley ready. And the 1-1 pitch. Inside corner, called strike two. Tony Perrin. Out of Riverside Academy, Reserve, Louisiana, right down near New Orleans. Here's the one, two. Up high, Perrin able to hold off. Two balls, two strikes to Perrin. Popped up, foul territory, third base side. Buck will make the catch just to the right side of the line and two down for the Cowgirls. That'll bring up Reese Reyna, who is 0 for 3 today. And it looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter. Kennedy Reynolds will pinch hit for Reyna. Reynolds out of Spring, Texas. So pinch hitter will be Kennedy Reynolds for McNeese State. Cowgirls looking to add to their three to nothing lead. So Reynolds will step to the dish hitting 195 on the year, eight hits and 41 at bats. First pitch popped up, foul territory. And Fletcher can't make the catch in foul territory. Warhawks had a chance to get out of the inning for the first time today, one, two, three. Fletcher unable to make the catch. It'll be a strike on Kennedy Reynolds. Kenzie Cackley steps back inside the circle. The 0-1 off-speed pitch a little bit high. One ball, one strike to Kennedy Reynolds. Tiffany Stetso on deck for the Cowgirls. And the 1-1. Fouled back to the top of the net. One ball, two strikes. Now to the pinch hitter, Reynolds. And the 1-2. This is a way two and two. Cackley ready in the two two pitch off speed high and outside. Full count to the pinch hitter, Kennedy Reynolds. And the pitch fouled to the top of the net. We'll do it again, three balls, two strikes.
Full count pitch. Popped up. Right side, Chavez makes the catch. And for the first time today, the Cowgirls go down in order. Warhawks need three to keep the ball game going. To the bottom of the seventh we go. 3 nothing, McNeese State. People can get a free Samsung Galaxy S22 when they trade in a Galaxy. Any year, any condition. Oh, I get it. So you can take your old phone that you've had for 12 years and loved every minute of and trade it in for something new that suits your life now? That's right, yeah. Then enjoy immediate success. Even though you'll never forget your old phone, ever. It's a great trade. Life changing. Get a free Samsung Galaxy S22 with any Galaxy trade in. Any year, any condition. Only for AT&T. Do you think any of us will look back in our lives and regret the things we didn't buy? Or the places we didn't go. What is this? Over 75 live channels for sports, news, and entertainment, just like cable. Hulu has live TV. Warhawks down to their final three outs. Five, six, seven hitters due up for ULM. As Gabby Davila will step in and takes the first pitch inside for ball number one. There's some numbers for Vallejo, who has pitched a gym today for McNeese State. Only 60 pitches so far for Ashley Vallejo. 1-0 pitch. He'll miss away two balls and no strikes. Two O pitch from Vallejo. Ground ball towards second base, fielded by Reyna, flips it over to first, one away. They'll bring up Corey Kreps. Warhawks down to their last two outs now. Vallejo, first pitch, low and outside. pitch line shot through the hole for a base hit first hit of the ball game for Kreps and that will bring up a pinch hitter it appears Andy Edwards Edwards from Moss Bluff, Louisiana, which is right by McNeese State down in the Lake Charles, Louisiana area. But she'll get a chance to pinch hit right here. First pitch lifted, fouling out of play right side. No balls and a strike. Out of the powerhouse down in Moss Bluff, Louisiana, Sam Houston High School. Great great high school softball in the state of Louisiana. Quite a few players from both these teams from that school. As the flip to second, we'll get the force of Kreps. It'll be a fielder's choice for Edwards and the Warhawks down to their final out now. Two down for Madison Blunt. Blunt. 
one, 0 for 2 today. Edwards, the runner at first base for ULM. First pitch from Vallejo right down the middle for a strike. Nothing and one the count to Madison Blunt. A one pitch from Vallejo. Low and outside. One ball, one strike. Vallejo ready. And the 1-1. One, one. Foul back to the backstop. Warhawks now down to their final strike. One ball, two strikes. The count to the number eight hitter, Madison Blunt. And the one, two. Bounced in and blocked by the catcher, Duvall. They're going to throw down to second. And Edwards going to get down to second base. And what will most likely be a wild pitch. So Warhawks have a runner in scoring position. And a 2 2 count. On Madison Blunt. Checked her swing. They're going to appeal. And the appeal down to third base and uh, did not go around it Blunt. So now a full count with Kennedy Page on deck. Full count pitch, lifted into center field, but right at Kendall Talley, and that will end the ball game as McNeese with a pitching gem from Ashley Vallejo able to take the ball game on the road at ULM by a score of three to nothing. Cowgirls, three runs on nine hits, one error. Warhawks had no runs, four hits, and an error. For Wayne Gentry and the entire ESPN crew, I am Nick White saying so long from the University of Louisiana in Monroe. In Monroe, Louisiana, your final score once again was McNeese State 3 and ULM nothing. All games airing on the ESPN Networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. <laughs>